Sometimes in this walk with God, you find yourself in places where you can't keep yourself. Uh, sometimes in your walk, you hump up like a gray squirrel, and you want to hide. You don't want to go no further. When stuff comes against you, you don't want to. You don't want to push back. But uh, I just want to thank God that whenever I don't do nothing or I don't want to do nothing, God's still with me, and that God still keeps me through all that stuff. You know, and and, and that's what I'm guilty of is I stand back and I let the devil. Josh puts stuff in front of me, and I say, well, I'm not big enough to overcome that. And I forget that greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. Yeah, you know, I sat there at, the, at a church up there, and this man began to talk about how he can barely walk. And when he would get up, he, could, he couldn't hardly walk. But he said, if I let the devil stop me with this, what, what, what else is he going to throw at me? You know, and when something comes against you, you don't want to do nothing. You, you just want to. You, you'll back up and sit down and say, Lord, I don't want to go no further if that's what it's going to be like. Uh -huh. But you can't do that. You've got to press past that. Yes, yeah. Everything that God puts in front of you is there for a reason. Man. It's made to build you. It's made to shape you. It's made to make you into what God needs you to be. Uh -huh. You know, and, and I got to the point where I didn't want to push no more. I want to apologize to the church because I got to the point where I stepped back and I sat down and said, I'm not going to do anything right now. Because I just, I didn't want to push back. 
But I can tell you right now, God, I'm going to, I'm going to do what God has, is going to have me to do, regardless of what the devil thinks about it. Right. You know, as I was down there and I was at church down there, and God began to feed me through them with stuff that shouldn't have been there. It was really weird. And then Amanda's talking to me at night, telling me about the stuff that she's getting, and I began to think, man, God put me here, and God put you up there at the same time to get us both what we needed for some reason. We couldn't get it together, but he separated us just for that moment. Josh, and exactly what I was getting, she was getting, but in a different way where she would accept it. And, and it changed our whole outlook on our walk with God. You know, and that's what we need. We need a lot of Christians sure. that will change their outlook on yes. their walk with God. Come on, brother. <clears throat> I thought about Samuel today. Whenever When Samuel was mourning over, over Saul, he wanted Saul. He was like, why not Saul? You know, and he's mourning over him, and God speaks to him and says, Why are you still mourning over Saul when I've already picked somebody else? Yeah. You know, and it's what it's about is why are we still mourning over what happened in the 70s and 80s when God's wanting to do something here? Yeah. We're holding on to the past and not letting God move in the future because we want God to do that back there. And God said, I've already done that. I've already done this, yes, and I'm wanting to do something else. Don't mourn over what already happened. Be prepared for what God's going to do now. Yes. <clears throat> and we hold on to the past. So, man, God was so awesome, Josh. Was so awesome. Why was he awesome? Because our hearts were closer to God. You know, I look at them and I think, man, they didn't, they didn't fit the part a lot of times. Some of the stuff was off about them. What was different? Their hearts. How close their hearts were to God. They had their lives molded and shaped around God. They didn't worry about anything else. They, they were walking to church sometimes, Sister Rachel, miles to church. They would walk miles. We won't, we won't even come to church if the air conditioner's broke. We, we want God to move, but we don't want to do anything. I was asking God today, God, when are you going to do this or do that? He said, I've given you X, Y, and Z already, and you haven't even done that. Why am I going to put something else on your plate? We want God to move, but we don't want to do nothing. Let go and let God. I want to see God move, Rachel. But he's not going to do what he already done in that way. He's going to do something, but it's going to be different. It's not going to be the same way. But we want to hold on. I don't want to hold on no more to what already was. I don't serve a God of just the past. I serve a God of here and now. I serve a God of tomorrow. He's already out ahead of me making plans for next week. That's the God I serve. He's already shaping things and making sure that I'm where I need to be in three or four weeks. In a month, God already knows. Yes. I, did, I thank him that he kept me. You know, I could have sat out by a brook and let it dry up and just died right there. But God said, no, that's not how this is going to work. Right. I, prepared, I prepared a widow woman, a church, Come where on. you can be fed, where you yes. can go get what you need to get, and you can hear a word from God, and it'll get you where you need to be. Right. Because that's the God we serve. He don't forget about us. He don't leave us there. Sometimes I feel like God forgets about me, but he didn't forget I was being stubborn, and I wasn't listening to the voice of God. I've been stubborn. I'm, I'm sorry. Maybe some of you Christians don't have this problem, but sometimes I fight. Sometimes I struggle. Sometimes I find myself wrestling with God. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Throw it a fit like a little child. Come on. This is just how the Christian walk is. I guess I'm. You know, you feel like you're the only one. But other people have the same issues. Yes. <laughs> if you don't, if you're already a perfect Christian, I wish you'd pray for me. Come on. I wish God would oh, come God. to my house and just sit on my bread, Josh, and tell me exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's just that way. But he's not going to leave you just there. He's got a plan for you. Yes. He's got a plan for the church. He's yes. got a plan for us. We just got to listen. I'm just glad that I serve a merciful God, yes. a long-suffering God, yes. a God that's willing to work with me, Sister Rachel, while I learn his ways. That doesn't just kick me. I'm bad with my kids. Sometimes they don't get it right the first time, Lawrence. I get, get upset. God, God hadn't got upset at me yet. 
You know, <laughs> he just goes right along with the punch. He's going to be like, hey, I didn't get it right. Let's try it again, son. Let's try it again. You'll get it next time. Encouraging me the whole time, Josh. I just thank God. I thank God that he gave me another opportunity. Yes. Opportunity. His mercies are renewed daily. They are. Every day when I wake up, another chance. I thank God for
it was going to be easy, but right. you said we could make it. That's right. I was thinking about a vacation Bible school. Our thing was to put on the whole armor of God yes. that you can stand against the wiles of the devil. Amen. We got to learn, Brother Lawrence, we got to learn how to fight. Yeah. And how we fight, <laughs> it's not with the natural. I had a pastor one time who told me, he said, if you let your own flesh, your own flesh will take your soul to hell. And I was a young Christian in the Lord, and I thought, well, how in the world could that be? Until I begin to read the scriptures. Yes. Our, our flesh desires a lot of things. That old flesh has got to be killed out. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. The scripture says it's got to be mortified. That means it's got, got to be put to death. Yes. We're a soldier in the army for the Lord. Brother James, we just got to keep on fighting. We've got to have that armor on that we can stand against the wiles of the devil. And you think people think they're having it hard now. You think you just wait a little while longer. It's going to get a whole lot harder. So you better have your anchor. You better be steadfast in Because the devil's going to get greater and greater and greater. And he's going to show himself up. And we better have that armor on. We better pray and be prayed up. We better know how to get the Holy God. Hallelujah.
Thank you.